was a great mix of population of indigenous Brazilians, the Portuguese, and the African slaves. Moreover, the arrival of immigrants from Asia, Europe, and the Middle East led to the miscegenation of these people from various origins. Hence, Brazil became a culturally diverse nation. And, you know, there is kind of a lot of similarities between this uh, sort of like cultural diversification as a result of all of these different factors and America having a similar kind of story, I would say. Brazil was the first nation in the Americas to bring people to work by force um, and the last to set them free when it abolished slavery in 1888 after centuries of hardship seen by the imported African slaves. Rio de Janeiro was Brazil's capital city until 1961. However, however, the country's capital was shifted from the crowded Rio de Janeiro to the planned city of Brasilia. And by the way, I'm sorry about these ads popping up everywhere. There's nothing I can do about it. I realize it's kind of obnoxious to have a Hyundai ad here, but what can you do? <laughs> this is why I usually just put my face, but I figured this could be something different. Rio de Janeiro, uh, I read that already. Due to floods and landslides, 900 and 16 people died in a hilly region, hilly region of uh, Rio de Janeiro in January 2011, and 345 people were missing. It was one of the biggest catastrophes in the history of the country. Now, let's move on to the culture facts. This will be a little bit more fun, I think, right? Whenever you think about history, there's always a lot of controversy because, let's be honest, history throughout um, humanity's tenure on this planet has been a little bit messed up, so. The world's largest population of Catholics lives in Brazil. They make up 64% of its population. After the United States of America, Brazil has the second largest population of Christians um, and the largest population of Christians in South America. Faith is the national I, I probably butchered that but is the national dish of Brazil which is a stew of beans with beef and pork sounds delicious I'm assuming that the J is not pronounced as a J you know Feyoda, Feyoda. I don't know some languages like Slovakian which I speak mildly is you know the J isn't pronounced with a J sound with a J sound it's more of like a Y so I'm assuming maybe Portuguese would be similar or similar to Spanish, but you know what I mean. Brazilians value family and social connections. Friendship and hospitality are some of the key traits that the people look for among themselves. And a fun fact about me, actually, I worked for a Brazilian company for a little over a year and uh, definitely the way that work is treated in Brazil is very much like a family sort of uh, 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 atmosphere. They treat work, people they work with, as like family, which is very nice change of pace compared to some other, um, you know, some companies in the U.S., for instance, which is my main experience. Um, visitors to Brazil are treated with the utmost respect and are admired. Brazilians have the reputation of being one of the most hospitable people in the world. The most popular type of music Brazilians listen to is Brazilian funk. The music has a constant and repeated beat, which never changes. Brazilians sing different songs with the beat, and there are at least 1,000 such songs that the countrymen couple with the beat. The interesting thing is that the combination never gets old, nor does it get boring. Almost 90% of the households in the country have TV sets and radio. It is the second most popular source of entertainment and information. Brazil also has the largest number of Japanese people outside of Japan. Now that's pretty cool. When I worked at this Brazilian company, I actually met someone at the company who was Japanese, uh, but grew up in Brazil. 
so I had no idea this was a thing, so it was pretty cool. Brazil has a high murder rate. Brazilian Carnival is an annual Brazilian festival held between the Friday afternoon, 51 days before Easter, and Ash Wednesday at noon, which make, uh, marks the beginning of Lent, the 40-day period for Easter. During the festival, more than two million people are on the streets every day. The carnival held in Rio de Janeiro is often cited as the world's largest party. Copacabana Beach, located at the south end of the city of Rio de Janeiro, is a four-kilometer long beach. The beach is famous for hosting a concert in 1994 that was attended by 3.5 million people. This was the largest gathering for a concert ever. According to media reports, by mid-2007, there were 67 tribes in Brazil who had never uh, had contact with modern man. These semi-nomadic indigenous people have, uh, however, made incredible strides in modern medicine, medicine thanks to our knowledge of their use of certain plant life as health-related elixirs. At least 180 languages are spoken in Brazil. Samba music from Brazil from the 18th century is still tremendously popular. It's a ritual in Brazil for boys to bear the pain from bullet ants before they are declared adults. Their hands are put in gloves filled with these ants. Boys are required to withstand the pain for at least 10 minutes, and they have to pass this test 20 times before they are uh, declared adults. And this is the ant that they're referring to. That looks super painful. No thanks. <laughs> Free sex change operations are provided for the Brazilian uh, by the Brazilian public health system. They recognize this as a constitutional right. Brazilians like to share their drinks and food with others, and they are very happy about it. Brazilians are also very optimistic about their future and always believe that tomorrow will be a better day than today. Um, we've got some facts for kids. I don't know why it's facts for kids, but let's let's see what what this means exactly. The name Brazil comes from Brazil wood, the name of a tree in Brazil. Brazil, officially the Federal Republic of Brazil, is the largest country in South America and Latin America. That was mentioned at the beginning. Brazil has a republic, uh, a replica, excuse me, of the Statue of Liberty, a copper statue, a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States. Yeah, we know this already. I think we do. Anyway, I know it. Americans should know. <laughs> Americans and French should know. Let's put it that way. Uh, Brazil also has the world's second largest black population after Nigeria. Did you know that Brazil became the first South American country ever to host the Olympics in 2016? On average, 6 million tourists visit Brazil every single year. According to a report, 6.6 .6 million tourists visited Brazil in 2016. The visitors injected a whopping $6.2 uh, million dollars into the Brazilian economy. Right, I'm assuming. $6.2 million, not $6.2. Was a 6.2 per person. I don't know. They boost visitor count in 2016. Uh, the boost was uh, due to the Olympic Games held in the country. Oscar Niemeyer designed the capital city of Brasilia. It resembles the shape of an airplane when viewed from the air. And as you can see here, we can see it here in this image right now. Brasilia from the top looks like the shape of an airplane to see if I can kind of like see what they're talking about exactly. Does it look like an airplane? I guess I can see it a little bit, but but it looks cool nonetheless. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. It took me a second. <laughs> uh, Robert made Brazil a wealthy nation during the late 18th century. There are more species of monkeys in Brazil than in any other nation. Uh, the Brazilian national anthem has two 
seven verse stanzas. Interestingly, both uh, the stanzas have the same tune. Brazilian law does not permit you to sing just one stanza. You have to sing both the stanzas. Embraer, a Brazilian aircraft manufacturing company, is among the world's top five aircraft manufacturers. Uh, and this looks like one of their planes here that they manufacture. Looks cool. Uh, the world's highest vertical cemetery uh, is 108 meters tall, is the Memorial Necropoli uh, Ecumenica in Santos, Brazil, while the world's biggest cemetery covers 148.5 acres and contains millions of bodies, is in Iraq in the city of Najaf. Brazil is the world's second largest producer of ethanol fuel. Here we have the flag of Brazil. It's referred to as the Bandeira do Brasil in Portuguese. In 1946, voting became a right and an obligation to all women. Uh, Brazilians drink 5.5 uh, kilograms per capita per year of coffee, while Finland tops the list with 12 kilograms per capita per year. And then we have a nice picture of coffee. Brazil is the leading producer of oranges in the world, which amounts to 30%. I apologize, I'm getting some spam, as I like to, as I tend to get sometimes, as I was saying. Uh, larger producer of oranges in the world, which amounts to 30% of the world's total output. The biggest African city outside of Africa, uh, Salvador, is in Brazil. Um, is a Brazilian soccer player who is famous the world over. Brazil has won soccer's FIFA World Cup five times in all of these different years. This is the nice thing about sharing my screen. Apparently, uh, I'm getting some... hope this website's safe. <laughs> Notification about that. Probably because of all these damn ads. It's everywhere. So much spam. Uh, it's like, no one's going to click on this, you know? Paulo Colo is a famous Brazilian lyricist and novelist. He was born in Rio de Janeiro on August 24th, 1947. Sand dunes in Brazil can reach a height of 40 meters. Brazil's first national parks can reach a height of, uh, excuse me, Brazil's first national parks were created in the late 1930s. I combined the two. Uh, Silva is the most popular surname in Brazil. Brazil has a 60% share of Amazon's rainforest. The rainforest is also known as Amazonia or the Amazon jungle. The rainforest is estimated to contain 390 billion individual trees divided into 16,000 species. Brazil declared itself a republic on November 5th. Brazil has the 10th largest railway and 3rd largest roadway network in the world. The largest number of species of mammals, plants, freshwater fish are found in Brazil. Brazil has 13 countries, uh, 13 cities, excuse me, with a population of more than 1 million people. Brazil has only three time zones, while well, France has 12. The climate is tropical across the majority of Brazil. Uh, Brazil is also the fifth largest country by population behind China, India, the US, and Indonesia. Let's get to the next page here after I X out of this stupid ad. <laughs> What a mess. Um, good thing my webcam is blocking some of this stuff here on the side. Brazil hasn't been involved in a war since 1870. Um, in its official language, Brazil is also called Pindorama, meaning land of the palm trees. There are 26 states in Brazil and a federal district that contains its capital city, Brasilia. In 2016, Almost 86% of Brazil's population lived in urban areas. Sao Paulo is the richest and most populated state in Brazil. It is also the largest city in South America. 
Uh, looks like a typo here. Sao Paulo is Brazil's economic and demographic heartland. And the company I worked for was also located, headquartered in Sao Paulo, with offices in, uh, you know, uh, New York, London, etc. So, uh, Brazil has more than 4,000 airports, which is fewer than the U.S., uh, which has the world's highest number of airports. Of airports. The Itaipu Dam, dam is Brazil's, uh, in Brazil is the second largest producer of hydroelectricity in the world. It is 7.7 .7 kilometers long and 196 meters high. It is located on the border between Brazil and Paraguay. And we can see it here. Wish we can make it a little bit larger, you know, if it was possible. Let's see. Nope. No dice. Uh, yeah, nothing. The name Brazil is believed to have originated from the name of the wood Pau Brazil. Brazil wood. Which was the first product that the Portuguese used to their advantage commercially. Brazil can also be called as the land of contrasts. The majority of people of African descent lived in uh, live in the northeast. Brazilians of European, Japanese ancestry live in the south and southeast, while the north and central west is home to the native people. Um, Brazil is the largest country in the world to have Portuguese as an official language. Note that the Portuguese-speaking people are also referred to as uh, Lusophones. Brazil is one of the 17 Mega diverse, mega diverse countries. Brazil was known by different names, including the land of the Holy Cross, Terra da Santa Cruz, and the land of Brazil. Terra do Brazil. And now we move on to the economy aspect. The northern part of the country is poor and underdeveloped, while comparatively the southern part is industrialized and rich. Um, the Brazilian real is the official currency of Brazil. Brazil has changed its currency at least eight times between 1942 and 1944. That's interesting. Um, the Brazil, uh, Brazil's economy depends mainly on these items. Brazil would, during the first few years of its colonization, sugar cane during the 16th and 17th century, gold and diamond during the 18th century, and coffee during the 19th and 20th centuries. Um, wow, I thought this was, we're, uh, we're good on time actually, I thought this was going on for longer than it was. Cool. Um, let's keep going. Brazil became energy independent in 2006. Prior to this, it had imported oil as a primary energy source. Uh, and now we are up to geography. The country of Brazil occupies how, half, half of South America's total landmass. It's the largest country, uh, the longest country, excuse me, in the world, while Chile is the second longest. Brazil extends 4,395 kilometers from north to south. It's 4,319 kilometers from east to west. The Pantanal is the largest tropical wetland in the world, encompassing over 70,000 square miles, although some part of this region is also shared by the neighboring Paraguay and Bolivia. The majority of it lies in Brazil. The region also has the highest concentration of wildlife on the continent. And now we here we can see the Pantanal. Looks beautiful. Are these like lily pads, I guess? They look nice. There are 22 towns and cities in Brazil that have at least 500,000 people living in them. The Guandu River in Rio de Janeiro supplies water to 9 million people in Greater Rio de Janeiro. Um, 4,600 miles of Brazil's coastline lie on the Atlantic Ocean. Brazil on the map. Ah, oh, this is neat. They give us a little map here that we can kind of like zoom in on. If we want to get extra fancy with it, we can see this is all of Brazil right here. 
me zoom out real quick. Brazil borders every South American nation except Ecuador and Chile. So we can kind of see how massive Brazil really is relative to the other countries in South America. Um, then we, uh, you know, move forward. We start to get to Mexico, the United States, Canada, and so on. Um, then we got China over here. And they got the European countries over here. Um, including the UK and Ireland and all of those places. I know that a portion of my audience, well, my second largest audience is actually from the UK. Number one being obviously America. So I will get to the UK at some point uh, as well. But I do have Brazilian viewers too. And I kind of wanted to do Brazil anyway. So that's why I decided to do it first to start off. Um, Pico de Neblina in Amazona is the highest point in Brazil at 2,994 meters. Brazil is void of deserts, high mountain, and arctic environments. Brazil has 21 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Um, Brazil contains one-third of Latin America's population. It's also among the world's major economies. Brazil has 10 neighboring countries, while China and Russia both have 14. The highest number of neighboring countries any nation has. Rio de Janeiro is the second largest city in Brazil and also the sixth largest in both, uh, in both North and South America. It contains a major portion of the Amazon River, river Basin. Brazil covers 47.3% of the area of South America. According to the a recent study, the Mandaro River in southern western southwestern Peru is the source of the mighty uh, Amazon River. The world's largest or longest river flows through Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Bolivia, uh, Peru, and Venezuela. There are five main geographical regions that Brazil is divided into. They are north, northeast, central west, southeast, and south. And then we have some amazing facts about Brazil. Uh, Brazilian prisoners can reduce their sentence by four days every month for every book they read and write or report about. That's pretty cool, actually. That's, uh, it's always interesting to see the differences between, like, the criminal justice uh, reform uh, system between different countries how we rehabilitate um, different people. So, if you were to buy an Apple iPhone in Brazil, uh, you would have to pay almost twice the price for the phone as if you had bought it in the United States. And this is something that my Brazilian coworkers told me that sometimes they would go to America and they would like buy as many things as they could uh, because it was so much more expensive in Brazil. So they wanted to like, you know, uh, uh, take advantage of it while they could. So they would buy like an iPhone in America, for example, for this exact reason. Um, I missed the fact right here. Prisoners in Brazil could also pedal a stationary bicycle in the prison to provide electricity to a nearby town. This would also help reduce their sentence by a few days, which is pretty cool too. They give you, it seems like they give you some more motivation to actually reform yourself, which is, which is a nice concept, I think. I don't know if it works or not, but it's nice in theory. Brazil once listed an aircraft carrier for sale on eBay. <laughs> Due to financial crises in 1932, 32 Brazilian athletes had to sell coffee on their way to the Los Angeles Olympics. The country has been the world's largest exporter of coffee for 150 years. In areas around Brazil and Argentina, the Earth's magnetic field has been found to be weakening, specifically for the last 180 years. An island in Brazil called Snake Island has up to five snakes per square meter. Civilians are not allowed to visit the island. And this is the Snake Island right here, which I 
looks quite cool, I would say. Um, it occupies the ninth spot on the list of the most billionaires in the world. Brazil does, or Snake Island. Most civilians are not lots of visits, so I assume they're talking about Brazil. Um, Brazil spent you 11 billion US dollars for infrastructure improvement in preparation for hosting the 2014 World Cup. However, the US spent only 30 million for the same job in 1994. Ah, dolphins. I like dolphins. Would you believe that in Laguana, dolphins help fishermen catch fish? Some fishermen in Brazil get a bit of help from a herd of well-known bottlenose dolphins. In Laguana, a friendly pod of bottlenose dolphins herd fish toward local fishermen. The dolphins then use a series of tail slaps to signal for the fishermen to throw their nets in the water. This impressive collaboration dates back to at least 1847. That's so adorable. Dolphins are, are national treasures. Global treasures, I would argue. We must protect them at all costs. Indoor tanning for anyone of any age was banned in 2003 in Brazil making it the first country to impose such a ban. Using a tanning bed, boot, or sun lamp to get a tan is called indoor tanning. Indoor tanning can cause skin cancers. The only national football team to have never lost to Brazil is Norway. They played four matches, two were played to a draw, while the other two were won by a Norwegian team. A single cashew tree in Natal Brazil covers an area of 7,500 meters thanks to a rare genetic mutation. And this is the world's true largest cashew tree right here. Brazilians lost the 1950 FIFA World Cup final to Uruguay. Uh, it, is, it is noteworthy here that Brazilians prepared 22 gold medals with the names of their players written on them. A victory song was also prepared uh, to celebrate in the event of a win. The result was, however, unfortunate for Brazil. <laughs> That's gotta suck. They all uh, had all this stuff ready, <laughs> and then they couldn't use it. <laughs> Brazil won the FIFA World Cup in 1958 when it beat Sweden 5-2 in the final and lifted the World Cup trophy for the first time. Brazil exported more than half a million handguns to the U.S., uh, in 2010, making it the largest exporter of guns during that period. Uh, when Pele and Garan Garincha played together, Brazil never lost a game of soccer. And we have Pele, uh, the famous football player, during his visit for the opening of the new arena of the Scada Zanthi FC at Zanthi in 2005. Uh, in every city in Brazil, there is at least one soccer stadium. In 2000, that's that's football in American, guys. Soccer beats football in American. Did you know that? <laughs> in 2005, a Nike uh, ad starring Ronaldo Ronaldinho uh, achieved more than one million views on YouTube, making it the first YouTube video to reach that mark. Uh, Brazil's the world's largest market for crack cocaine. In case you want to know where to go, Brazil is the place to go. Uh, Brazil became the first South American country to accept women in its armed forces. Sugarcane. Jesus. Sugarcane liquor mixed with ice, sugar, and crushed lime slices make Brazil uh, make the Brazilian national drink. Uh, Brazil's first printing uh, press was set up in 1808. The Brazilian Football Confederation was founded in 19. At 86.4%, Brazil has the lowest literacy rate of all South American countries. Um, and it's also, like, very uncommon for people to speak English in Brazil, too. It's only a very small population of people in Brazil that speak English. And they're usually in, like, you know, the more developed areas. Uh, Corvada. Corcovado is a mountain in central Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's known worldwide for the 38-meter uh, statue of Jesus atop its peak, entitled Cristo Redentor, or Cr 
Christ, the Redeemer. That's awesome, actually. That's one of those things that I would want to see in person. It's on my list of like landmarks that I want to see. I was actually supposed to go to Brazil with my previous company too, but obviously that pandemic happened and I was never able to go, sadly. Uh, Sao Paulo is known for traffic jams. Obviously, I can still go in the future, right? But it won't be free. <laughs> I'll have to pay for it. So I lost that opportunity. A record was set in 2013 when a 309-kilometer-long traffic queue developed during evening rush hour. Uh, one of Henry Ford's failed ventures due to poor crop disease control was to create rubber plantations and factories in the middle of the Brazilian Amazon jungle. Uh, searching high and low for an odd themed bar you won't be able to find elsewhere, look no further than Brazil and its out of left field trend of Osama bin Laden themed pubs. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Come again. Currently, there are two locations Bar to Bin Laden, located in Sao Paulo, which is run by an Osama lookalike, and Garverna do Bin Laden. <laughs> translated. The latter means Bin Laden's cave. <laughs> I'm about to tap out right now. I can't. What is <laughs> This pool bar and watering hole is located in Niteroi, about 30 miles north of bustling Rio de Janeiro. I don't even understand why that's a thing, but it's hilarious. Whew. I almost lost my cool there. According to various media reports, a customer at Bar do Bin Laden actually called authorities and getting that the Al-Qaeda founder was hiding out of at the establishment. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Keep it together. Keep it together. According to a study, 35% of men from rural Brazil have had sex with an animal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are they doing this to me right now? I can't keep it together. Animals like mares, cows, pigs, and <laughs> Chickens were involved in the axe. Oh, oh, oh. Moreover, it was also revealed in the study that men involved in such an act were also likely to develop cancer of the penis. Oh my god. Brazil never change. There is a group of people in Brazil called the Bororo who all have the same blood type O. Take note that Bolivia, not Brazil, is the main exporter of Brazil nuts. The country has a city called Now Metok. It literally means don't touch me. I, I appreciate that. Outdoor advertising has been banned in Sao Paulo since 2006. The largest free rock concert ever had 4.2 million attendees. It was held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil and featured a performance by Rod Stewart. The largest stock exchange in Latin America is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Brazil has won the World Cup soccer finals five times. Um, Rio de Janeiro and São Paulo are two Brazilian states whose capitals have names identical to state names. Some weird laws in Brazil. Smoking in public is restricted in Brazil, and one can be fined for offense, the offense as well. Gambling in Brazil is prohibited due to the fact that the government is not able to monitor the winning made in such games. However, online gambling is permitted. Uh, just want to make sure we're still recording. Is permitted because the internet is not regulated by the Brazilian territory. Professional hunting since 1967 is banned in Brazil. However, hunting is permitted in certain cases, including that done for subsistence. E-cigarettes are banned in Brazil since 2009 on the ban... Uh, basis of lack of scientific data that it is safe for health and i think we found out right that it's not actually better than cigarettes it might actually be worse right I, I, correct me if i'm wrong uh and the last fact use of cell phones in banks is prohibited in brazil in the interest of its users to prevent robbery and theft and there we have it um we've got a lot of other things here that aren't like necessarily facts but more so statistics but we can just uh, save that for another time but there we go guys i almost lost my cool there at the end uh, but i hope you enjoyed learning about brazil uh and if you're from brazil you know and you have 
additional fun things to share, feel free to leave a comment in the description box below, uh, in the comment section below, and just let us know anything that we potentially might find fun or amusing to learn about Brazil or educational or anything like that. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I plan to make this a reoccurring video where we learn about different countries. So if you have a country you want to learn about, or if you want me to, to, to learn about your country, uh, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know. But thank you, my friends, for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one and live stream on Sunday next week, September 5th, Sunday. Take care, my friends. Bye.